Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of a Crazy a Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with... TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Jonas, you're the man on the steel. I am. Uh, playing that uh, Madden 21. Yeah, we sure are, dude. Uh, we are playing Houston versus Houston. Yeah, Jonas, that's for the home team. Houston is the most popular team in the area that we live in. No, it is not. Dallas. Is this Dallas? Yeah, are the you Cowboys sure? are more popular. I hear a lot of people talking about Houston, like, just, like, riding it. Well, we're about two and a half hours from, from each. B yeah. So, I mean, like, there's a bunch of homers for both, dude. I would think, like, yeah, that's true. And I would think that you'd probably want to at least go for the team that has a chance of winning. Yeah, dude. I said it. That's because Houston loses, right? No, because Dallas oh, loses. Houston doesn't win anything, dude. Dallas, they win more than Dallas. Uh, that is not true. Is it not true? That is absolutely untrue. Okay, well, I said it convincingly. You did, yeah. I mean, it's definitely, it's definitely convincing. I don't care about either one of these teams. I know, teams. me neither, dude. I like the Oilers. I wish they'd come back. I would care about that. I, if they came back, I would go watch games in Houston. Warren Moon is not coming back to life. Dude, I wish he was. He's not, dude. He didn't play for them, did he? Did he die? I don't know. Steve honestly, Mc, though, Steve McNair died. His yeah, girlfriend, his girlfriend killed him. Who, who was Steve McNair? He was I'm, the I'm, he played for the Oilers when the ten, when the Titans moved to Tennessee. Uh, he was the quarterback. Was he like good? Yeah, he was pretty good, man. And he went to Baltimore, I think, for a little while. What happened that his girlfriend killed him, dude? That's uh, crazy. I don't know. She she killed him. He was like, sitting on the couch, and she she like shot him and killed herself. I think. Was she mad or something? No, she did because she was happy. Oh, I'd get happy. Murder and suicide just... usually happens because you're excited. Whoa, she was okay. It was something that's, like that. Yeah, he definitely sad. was murdered by his like girlfriend at the time, or his ex girlfriend, or. His mistress or something. One of those sort of situations. I think it's amazing that, like, there are people that you know that, like, could snap at any moment in time, dude. That is nuts to me. Yeah, dude. That's crazy, man. I just... Like, I don't know, man. If I'm hanging out with someone and I get the vibe that one day they could kill me, I just don't really hang out with them much anymore. I kind of feel like... Yeah, I mean, I kind of feel like this dude was with this girl so like i'm sure he didn't think that she was capable of such a thing oh uh, yeah probably uh, well yeah i mean i guess we don't ever we always assume that when you start hanging out with someone they're not going to kill you and then a lot of people yeah. are wrong because people murder people all the time it does happen man it does i, I definitely uh am not capable of that dude i don't even like like hitting people <laughs> <laughs> like let alone murdering them <laughs> Like, I don't want to. Yeah, dude. We I'm were good. talking about this before, man. It's like you got to have a, a certain degree of just like a uh, different persona if you enjoy hitting people. Even in sports, I think sports takes a different persona. Like, there are people just like us. And yes, to a lot of them, it's just a job or whatever. Yeah. But to get out there and do that for a living takes a different personality than I think me and you have. Yeah, dude. I'm not, I'm not an aggressive person, so. Yeah. 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 But, you know, honestly, like, our buddy that boxes, he's not an aggressive person in real life. He's actually a Dude, really nice guy. I mean, yes, but there's a part of him that is just like... He has that? He I, do it, it's shoot to kill when you're when he's in that boxing ring. Yeah, it is shoot to kill. Yeah, and I've yeah. seen him seriously injure. <laughs> he right. definitely whooped on some people when yes. we went and watched him, for sure. Yes, I've seen him seriously injure. And that is just, that's, like, I could never picture myself boxing another man yeah, in a ring. Yeah, dude, I don't. I don't in know. front of people. Yeah, dude, I don't. I'm not. That's not in my uh, wheelhouse either. Why, why would I want to invite people to watch me get my ass kicked? Why, yeah, would, I, yeah, why would I do that? Well, I mean, if you were good and you won, then maybe you'd have a different story. I mean, I'm going to, look, okay, look, I'll win if I, get, if I can just get disqualified. <laughs> how does, if you get disqualified, how does that let you win, though? Because the only way I'm going to win a boxing match is if I can do some ish that's going to get me disqualified. Oh, you cheat? It ain't cheating, dude. I'm trying to... It's a fight. I don't know how to box. I might know how to, like, scrap and throw some dirt in your eye or some shit. Throw some dirt in your eye. Pull your shirt up over your head. <laughs> right? Step on your toe. Yeah, <laughs> kick you in the shin, and you go, ah! 
Oh, and then you punch him in the face. Hey, yo, in a fight? Yeah, man. It's UFC. Like, UFC would be more my speed, but I would still get dominated in that. But I would prefer, like, a more conventional, like, it's not just me trying to time my punches. Ooh, <coughs> and we broke it. This slow man is trying to catch up, and he did not. I don't want to play your fight ARG, your mini game. Yeah, dude. Boxing oh, well, is like a tired. mini game. Oh, what? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> what he just wanted to go Let his animation finish. I, it went away on its own. It, it was like it was its own cut. It was like it was like, nope, dude, can't can't show you that. No, you're tapping the button, dude. You can't do that. I didn't do that. Yeah, I don't know. I definitely don't want to fight anybody though, Jonas. No, nah, dude, I'm much. good. I'm good on fights. <laughs> definitely good on fights. But yeah, I will, I will definitely take the L for the uh, for the fees though. Go ahead, hit me. An L for the fees? Yes, I will take an L, which is a loss. Yeah, I know that. And then I will get the fees when I sue the person. Oh, I gotcha. Like, uh, but that's not really a fee. A fee for them, I guess. Not for yeah, you. exactly. You'll collect their fee. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Any way you want to rationalize I gotcha. It. I just got was trying to understand will, what you were telling me. I will me, take right? the L for the fees, though. I kind of, I kind of wish that there was just somebody, just some rich dude handing out L's out there. That'd be nice. Handing out L's? Yeah, yeah. dude. If he was just handing them out. Um. What do you mean? What do you want? What do you want from yeah, me? sometimes famous people do that. Uh, yeah. Dude, if you were famous and like were a D head, like would you like be like, hey man, I'll, I'll punch you in the face for money. <laughs> Just to get your aggression out, you know, to a certain extent, though, they probably do already do that. Oh, I'm sure somebody's out there, man. Yeah. Just like, like, yeah, I'll just take an L real quick. But like, you know what? Punching this dude in the face is worth a million dollars to me. <sighs> it's funny. I was uh, I was on Reddit the other day and I saw like some paparazzi had called uh, who's the guy made uh, the movies. Who's the guy that made the movies? <laughs> the, the Dreadful Eight and... Quentin Tarantino? Pulp Fit, yeah. Some, some, some paparazzi had called Quentin Tarantino coming out of like a Starbucks or something. Yeah. And Tarantino was not having it, dude. Wow, well, was he not allowed to <laughs> He was like, hey, what, what, are you, what are you doing with these cameras? And then he's like, put the camera down. And then he's like, uh, what are you doing? He's like, just talk to me. What are you doing? And then he's, he's like, how's that coffee? And he's like, mm, it's good coffee. You want to throw the coffee in a dude's face? You can find a clip. It's really, really good. Did he throw the coffee in his face? He did not throw the coffee in his face, but he wanted to so bad. You could just tell he was not having it. I can see Quentin Tarantino hiring somebody to sit him in the face or just like swing it on somebody. He seems like he's really changed, man. Um, yeah. He's kind of like the Kanye of movies. Yeah, it's like it seems like he was like all down to earth and like, yeah, man, I just want to make good movies. Kanye? Like, and then like now he's just like, now nah, I'm all like this elitist P dude who just like. Kanye. <laughs> Who makes the best movies, and I'm only, only going to make nine movies, and I'm going to retire, so my legacy is... All right. Well, let's just be 100% honest. If you just look, and I'm not even trying to talk ish necessarily. I hate doing that kind of stuff. But if you look at Quentin Tarantino, he does not look like he's not ever done a drug in his life. Um. Yeah, he looks like he may have done a, uh, a little looks, bit of drug. <laughs> he looks like he's, you know... Play drugs? Yeah, he's definitely d tripped uh, the l over the lamp a few times. Oh, I thought you meant balls. Trip <laughs> balls. Like, done, <laughs> done, done hallucinogens. It was a double entendre for that. He's, yeah, he's tripped over the ball. Fine. Oh, he tripped the balls, dude. Yeah, he's definitely tweaked the nozzle. Whoa, the dude, is that a euphemism? <laughs> so, Tweak my nozzle. So I imagine that just years of exposure to rich people ish and just like oh you're saying he does cocaine <laughs> i see now i know you know. I get what you're I mean, fair enough all right i'm just saying years of that lifestyle is gonna it's gonna change a person and i kind of have to say you know for people who do just get so far up their own asses like that you know yeah, dude, I feel, well, I feel like uh, once you're famous enough, you have enough yes men around you oh, that, yeah. that, like, you know what I mean? It's like, if no one in your life ever tells you no or ever tells you or corrects you or, like, gives you any sort of criticism ever, it's almost, like, impossible to become nothing but an idiot. <laughs> because you think, like, you're just like, oh, I'm so great, I'm so whatever, and, like, everyone's like, 
I just, yeah, dude. And, and, and it's not to even take away from, like, the people and the creatives who are talented at their job, because I would never say that he makes bad movies. I would never say Kanye West makes bad music. And, but these are two examples that we're using. I mean, and some of the movies are bad and some of the music's bad. <laughs> yeah, but overall, all in all, think, positive think, review of Right, both, I think, like, if you take their whole work... Yes. Together, th- he's a good musician. He's a good yeah, director. Yeah, they're, they're human beings. He's not just going to come out cranking out hits like Michael Jackson or Drake or anything. But Right. Well, I mean, Drake doesn't do his own anyway. So. <laughs> he's doesn't write his own. I mean, yeah, dude. He's neither. like he's like, he's like uh, <laughs> Britney Michael. Spears of rap. No, look, neither did Elvis, Michael Jackson, the Beatles, uh, the Grateful Dead. So anyway, <laughs> nobody, nobody wrote their own stuff. Yeah, they're not a really. pop guys. At least, yeah, oh yeah, pop dudes definitely. Don't. I, mean, I can tell you, Quentin Tarantino wrote all of his stuff. Kanye didn't write. All I think stuff. Quentin Tarantino wrote all of his stuff. Mm, you think? He seems like the type of guy who would be very a stickler for that type of stuff. Yeah, it seems like he would want it exactly yeah. how he wants it. Yeah. And that's, imagine trying to like. I could imagine like trying to like deal with anything with that dude like being in a relationship with him after he gets control complete control of everything that he has to, like if, he, if you're the director you have 100 percent control of every little aspect of every nuance of everything you do yeah. in your profession yeah. then you're like trying to like date some girl and she's like i just want to put the fork on the left and he's like four inches from the right side <laughs> of the plate so at a 36 degree angle bit i could see yeah, i could see him being like that on set or in a relationship or something like that i could definitely see him being a like I feel like a lot of his acting, though, it, it's I feel like he's just kind of like acting like the way he would intend to act. Like it's like he's method acting his life when he's on screen. Yeah, probably. Because he he just plays he plays it almost too well. Yeah, I could see that. He plays it almost too well. Yeah, dude. Well, I mean, there's a lot of people out there who like they they're an actor, but they they tend to just play who they are. In real life, it's like they always yeah. play the same character. You're like, yeah. are you Jim Carrey? <laughs> yeah, I know he's played a couple different. Yeah, characters. that's very true. That's very true. I mean, in early, early Jim Carrey, yes, absolutely. It was yeah. just like, oh, mask. I'm an Ace Ventura. I'm, yeah. And then once Truman he was, Show. Once and he was like, I'm tired of acting like a jackass every time anybody sees. I've now. made my money on being a jackass. Let yeah. me show everybody I can really act. Now he's act and now. now he's like true to life, sad Carrey. All right, yeah, dude. Because he's like sad Carrie. Whenever you see him in an interview, he's sad Carrie. Dude, he's always screen. sad now. He yeah. was always like the happy guy, and now everyone's like, nope. Yeah, that just goes to show you that money won't buy you happiness. Nope. Guys. It sure doesn't. It, doesn't, it probably man. makes you more miserable, to be honest. It really does. It buys you more ish, but it does not make you more happy. Yeah, People that's with money to tell you that. Oh, 100%. yeah. That's why I'm completely happy, like, making a comfortable amount of money to pay my bills and have a little leftover. Like, okay. yeah, do I wish I made more money? Absolutely. But do I wish I made, like, three, four times the amount of money I make? Absolutely not, yes. dude. Yes, I do. <laughs> well, you're going to throw that on board well, with the Well, I guess that's not ridiculous money. Like, no. yeah. Do I wish I made ten times the amount of money I made? Probably If not. you were making Bezos money, dude, you, you, it would not bring you happiness. Because it it, you would be happy for a good year or two of, like, just being able to buy whatever I want. Go do whatever. On a trip. Go yeah. On a trip. yeah, be like, oh, I, I want to go to L.A. today. How much yeah. is the flight? Oh, t- two grand? <laughs> Yeah. First class, eight grand just to go there today. But, but then it's just going to be like, then it's just like any other trip for any other person. Now you're just walking around L.A. Oh, boy. Right. <laughs> no, I guess we'll go to the mall and buy some stuff. Fun. Right. How fun is shopping, really? Shopping ain't fun. Even if you have a bunch of money, shopping's not fun. Exactly. And then what's your, what's your other thing that you could do? You could order it off of Amazon. Ordering off of Amazon ain't fun either. Filling the card up is great, and you got to wait for it. Yeah, dude. Well, shopping Amazon is not does a f- come pretty quick. Yeah, sh- but shopping ain't a fun experience. So then, what do you do? I guess I'll get some girls. Girls yeah. ain't fun now. <laughs> you stop having fun with girls. It ruins girls for you. Wow, because well, because then you're like, do they really like hanging out with me, or do they hang out with me because I got the money? No, because you can you can have anything done. So then you reach the mountaintop. Like, what have you always wanted to do? I've always wanted to have seven girls at one time and uh, the goldfish watching. I mean, yeah, you could probably pull that off if you had Bezos money. It's, and then you make it happen, and it's like, oh, now what do I want to do? I guess nothing. I guess yeah, I'm dude, done I with put girls. satellites and send humans to space. Yeah, I've always wanted to go really fast in the car. Oh, boy, you went really fast in the car. Now what? Yeah, then it becomes like, I've always wanted to hunt a human. <laughs> <laughs> it's like... That's why rich dudes do messed up stuff like hunt humans. It is. It really is, too. When you've just been rich your entire life, you're like, hey, I'm just going to go hunt <laughs> the most dangerous game. 
Yeah, dude, it's like... <laughs> because you're constantly, once you reach the high, you're constantly just looking... For, well, yeah, I can, the purple so, dragon, dude. Yeah, so I can 100% see how being rich does not make you happy. And ruins your life because it takes all... Like, yeah, it's great when you can first experience all these things, but then you, you're always chasing the higher high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're like, what are you going to find? Nothing, dude. And then, like, uh, a lot of them will tell you that you kind of you lose a little piece of yourself because you've had all of those experiences. Like, you've experienced so much that you kind of forget how to just be dream. a normal human. Well, how to, like, dream. Like, there's people out there who are like, man, one day I'm going to be able to go to London. You know what I mean? Like, they've been yeah. so broken poor their whole life. They, they like That's what they strive to do is go on a big trip overseas. Yeah. And then, like, if you can just fly there on a Tuesday because you want to. Yeah. Or even, even like, on a, on, a, on a humane level of, like, taking out your own trash or doing your own laundry or driving yourself somewhere. If you have a chauffeur for everywhere you go, you're going to lose. You know, if you don't use it, you lose it. Yeah, dude. That's I would, uh, like, see these rich guys would be weird. I would hate to not be able to just, like, go to Marshall's, look for a new pair of gym shorts or something. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, so, hey, everybody, stay poor. Send us your money. <laughs> we'll take on that responsibility for you. <laughs> now, don't go sending us all your money as a troll. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, really hurt our feelings if you sent us all your no, money. No, don't make us rich. Please stop. <laughs> oh, Jesus. All right, dude, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. If you've done that, he does Twitch. Stuff. TNT Dynamite. I'm on Twitch every single day at 10 o'clock a.m. Central. That's TNT D-I-N-O-M-N-G-H-T underscore. Elemental peacorn. All right. For Jonas. TNT. We'll catch you on the next one. We are out.